I think I became interested in this area. Um, a, a lot of it was due to my undergraduate studies. You know, my, my, my college degree was in international relations. Um, I've always had an interest in, in human rights and that actually came up as a result of, of being able to spend some time in Geneva and doing some work with the UN and actually sitting in on discussions about various human rights conventions. And I actually had an opportunity to work on and get granted asylum uh, for a woman from Liberia and her husband. And it was, you know, once I did that, I was, I was hooked. I knew that this was, I, I had to find out more about immigration. Um, I, you know, at that time when I went to law school, there weren't, you know, a huge offering of, of immigration law classes, but, you know, there was an asylum and refugee law class. Um, there was also just a general class about kind of, you know, employment-based immigration in general. From that point on, I just wanted to learn everything I could about this area of law because for me, just having the satisfaction when I, you know, when this woman was, was granted asylum, it was just, I was just such a, it was such a wonderful experience that I knew this area of law would, would definitely be a nice combination of my background and then really having that personal, you know, that, that personal experience with individuals and just knowing that you're having an impact on their, on their lives. For me, from, from then on out, it was, uh, yeah, I was, I was definitely hooked in this area of the law. I started my career originally uh, working for a sole practitioner, and from there, um, there was an opportunity to, uh, to, for a position at Fragomen, which I interviewed for. And uh, since I've been with Fragomen, I've really had an opportunity to work with so many different kinds of clients. Um, really just from the from the very start. And I'd say throughout my career I've had an opportunity to probably work a little bit more with technology uh, companies, but I've also worked with um, in, uh, companies in the chemical industry, um, in the automotive industry, or basically automotive supplier industry, uh, which, is, which is great because it's given me an opportunity to really be able to study these industries, and I think you have to do that in order to really be an effective immigration lawyer you you have you have to under you, you have to know the law clearly but i mean you also need to know what your client's industry is know what their needs are because that's going to have an impact on the visa program or strategies and solutions that you develop for them so i found that to be a really interesting part of my job too is is getting to know these companies in depth what their business models are what their what their needs are